Chicago, founded by a black businessman, Jean-Baptiste Pont du Sable. Chicago, the kind of town where minority millionaires thrive. Chicago, the kind of town where tenacious trailblazers activated a civil and economic plan of empowerment for minorities in the 1960s. In the 1960s, a chain of events erupted into civil unrest and economic mayhem and rocked the Windy City at its very core. Rising above the turmoil, a group of corporate and community leaders were determined to beam a spotlight of hope on a seemingly hopeless situation. They knew that systemic racial and economic inequality doomed the advancement of progress. They knew financial clout was the great equalizer. They knew that business ownership was the key to economic empowerment. They knew that there was an underserved supply resource in people of color. What do we create that has real opportunities that would make a tangible difference? The answer? The birth of the Chicago Business Opportunity Day. These trailblazers led by George Johnson of Western Electric, now AT&T, and other corporate executives brought together 52 companies and 152 MBEs and positioned business owners to potential opportunities of new revenue resources. In 1965, Chicago Economic Development Corporation, SETCO, was founded. SETCO called on Western Electric, and they, along with the Chicago Urban League and the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce, founded the Chicago Business Opportunity Day in 1968. The following year, in 1969, the Chicago Business Opportunity Day was officially renamed Chicago Business Opportunity Fair. Uplifting change was in the air. The word was spreading that Chicago could really be on to something great. CBOF was seen as a game changer. It became the premier event of the newly formed Chicago Regional Purchasing Council with 19 Chicago Charter Corporations. CRPC's mission was to continue the tasks of creating economic opportunities for MBEs. CRPC's reputation of integrity and due diligence in the certification process became an invaluable partner to majority buyers who sought to do business with qualified and bona fide MBE companies. Although this effort started in Chicago, this was also a red-hot national issue. Not stopping at the creations of CBOF and CRPC, Robert Stewart of National Can recognized that a national organization was needed to coordinate, nurture, and maximize the momentum of this minority business development explosion. A group of Chicago companies led by Stewart founded the National Minority Purchasing Council in 1972. Bob Stewart and the other leaders sought funding from MBDA to form a national organization. The national organization started in Chicago, headed by Philip Duffy, and was located in the SETCO offices. Later, the name was changed to National Minority Supplier Development Council, NMSDC. Back in Chicago, CRPC continued to establish itself as a bona fide leader in the emerging minority business development. Meanwhile, regional purchasing councils spread all over the U.S., and by 1973, the Chicago Council was joined by 16 other councils. By 1974, there were 21 councils. Throughout their quests, the councils remained focused and clear to equip MBEs with the tools to compete and to become viable suppliers to the corporate community. Legislative laws continued to make minority participation in government contracts mandatory, and Public Law 95-507 in 1978 began to mandate minority participation in government contracts. Fast forward to 1980 when Congressman Perrin Mitchell's amendment to the Surface Transportation Assistance Act required a 10% set-aside for minority business. As we move toward the 21st century, corporations will increasingly rely on minority customers for increased market share and profit margins, 
corporations and minority businesses. What a wonderful marriage. That was then. This is now. NMSDC has set the gold standard for MBE certification and Chicago MSDC is a maverick in this process. In Chicago, certified MBEs employ 75% of other minorities. Minority millionaires continue to multiply. At Chicago MSDC, headed by Sheila Hill Morgan, President and CEO, members report over $5 billion and 90,000 jobs created by Chicago minority firms. Marquee corporate members such as AT&T, Allstate, PepsiCo, Navistar, Northern Trust, Kraft, Harris, Exelon, BP, United Airlines, and more have been part of Chicago's council for decades. Chicago has over 1,100 certified MBEs and continues to be one of the largest councils in the network. The millennium is truly a new era, an era of tremendous change of inconvenient truths, an era of extraordinary, unpredictable happenings untested. It is an era of new vision and optimism. The NMSDC will continue to take quantum leaps in national and global minority business development. And Chicago will continue to be a purveyor of hopes, dreams, and economic opportunities for all. <laughs>